Hey, Joey, what's with all the hats? Ah, uh, my friend Rick is having a party. Well, you don't seem very happy about it. Well, 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 I am happy about the party. It's just I've been put in charge of getting 18 party hats. Okay. And the thing is, I don't know how many more I need to get. Oh, well, actually, why don't we turn it into a fun math riddle and then solve it together and then you'll be all set. Okay. Okay. Well, I, I have eight hats right here, and I need 18. Okay, well, in fact, Let's that's... Let's work it out. ...exactly the riddle I want us to think about. So, Rick has eight party hats, and he needs 18 for his party. Sound familiar? It does. Okay. How many more party hats does Rick need? Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. But we and can... I gotta hurry up, because the party's gonna start, and I'm not gonna have the hats in this... <gasps> Professor... It's a lot of pressure. I know, but just relax, Joey, because math will come to the rescue. All right, all right. As always. So let's check it out. First, let's actually write down a number sentence to see if we can capture exactly this question. Okay. So then we can organize our thinking. So the first thing would be to say, we know that we have eight hats to begin with. Correct. And we know we want to have 18 hats in all. Correct. So we have the hats we already have, and then there's some hats we don't have yet. So that's two parts. And if I put the two parts together, I'm going to get 18. So that means 8 plus... Something. Something. And that's unknown right now. It sure is. So I'm going to write it as a mystery number, but that's really unknown. And then, however, whatever it is, 18 plus that unknown is going to be... 8 plus that unknown is going to be 18. That's right. Now... So they have these known numbers and the unknown numbers. Mm -hmm. And we can actually model that. So let's actually model it right now together. And if we model it, we see we have the known. That's right. the eight hats you have. Yep, those. Oh, look. Connecting cubes. Exactly. And now we're going to add in and figure out what the unknown is. I'm going to use blue connecting cubes for the unknown. And what we're going to do is we're just going to keep adding one unknown after another, one cube after another, until we have a total of 18. Oh, Good idea. Okay, so He's we so smart. So we have eight, and so now if I add one more, I have nine, and then ten, ten and then 11, eleven, and then twelve, 12 and then thirteen, 13 fourteen, fifteen, 15, sixteen. You're close. You're close. Seventeen. 17 one more. One more, folks. Eighteen. So now we have eighteen in all. We. Yeah. So how many, what's the unknown? Well, all I have to do is ask how many blue cubes we have, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we see 10, and we see the answer is that the unknown is 10. It's 10! And 8 plus 10 equals 18. Ugh. Now, the question for us to think about, and I'm going to have you think about this, and I want you to think about it too. I'm thinking. Can we use some related fact to actually check our answer? And I'll mm. give you a clue Joey, the related, hey. fact, the related fact is going to involve subtraction. See if you can guess a related fact to actually see if our answer makes sense. Okay. Now, remember that a related fact is just a fact, a number sentence that involves the same numbers, but maybe in a different way. Right. So let's think about it this way. We can take away what we have the totality of 18. We have 18 in all. Right. And now we can take away what we know. So if we start with 18, mm -hmm. if we start with 18, and now take away the hats that we had to begin with. That's the known stuff. So that's this right, stuff that right here. Hats. So let's just take They're that right away. There. Take it away. Right. So if we take that away, that means that we're now going to have, we're going to subtract off the eight. eight. Then what we're left with is the unknown. We're left with the unknown again. And what is that? Well, that's the, the blue ones. And if we counted, we already counted and we saw that we have... 10. Exactly. And so there's a related fact that shows us that, in fact, we have the right answer of 10. So we see the final answer is that Rick needs 10 more party hats. And guess what, Joey? What? That means that you need 10 more party hats as well. And we resolve the riddle. That's so great. Thank you, Professor. You're welcome, Joey. <laughs> it's going to be a great party. Now, but let me just ask you one question. Sure. Uh, are you sure you don't need an extra hat? Mm, 
I don't think so, Professor. Aren't you maybe forgetting to invite someone? Maybe someone that you see every day. Oh. Maybe a teacher. Oh no! I better go call Rick and tell him that we forgot to invite Mrs. Sandoval. Hmm. Hey, um, can you grab these hats? And can we stop on the store on the way to go because we gotta pick up those ten hats? Hmm. Come on. Have fun with math. I'll Wait, see you soon. <laughs>